What's going on folks, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and I'm bringing you a long overdue review of the Old Man Emu 2 inch lift for the Ford Bronco. So obviously I'm sitting in our 2021 Ford Bronco. It's a Badlands package truck with the 27 V6 and a soft top. So that kind of gives you an idea of the configuration that we were testing this kit with. But before I go into the details of how everything rides and how this truck felt off road and you know my overall thoughts on the system, I wanna talk first a little bit about the configuration and what the stance of the truck is to give you guys a little more perspective on how we have this set up. Right off the bat, I think the most important thing to note is that Old Man Emu has a ton of options to get these kits dialed in for the type of build that you want to do. So there's different spring rates, front and rear. You have little shim kits that you can use to go corner to corner, get it exactly balanced or dialed at exactly the height that you want. And there's a lot of other little brackets and pieces of hardware that are involved. So if I was to go through everything here, this review would probably run over an hour long. So what I'm gonna do is if you guys are interested in buying this kit and you want more information on the setup and making sure that you select the right version of the Old Man Emu system for your truck, I'm gonna put a link up above to our video where we did the install on this Bronco and I did a more of a deep dive there to kind of explain those inner workings and details and try and demystify a lot of the stuff surrounding this suspension. So if you are looking to do a setup like this, I highly recommend you watch that video. It should help a lot in just clearing things up and making sure that you understand what you're getting or what you need to order to get the right look for your vehicle. With that out of the way, essentially how we set up our Bronco here was we went for a heavy load rated spring in the front and we went for the medium load rated spring in the back. Then it just uses those Old Man Emu shocks on all four corners. Those don't really vary much from kit to kit. And because this truck was a Sasquatch to start and we added the lift to it, it's technically not a two inch lift in that regard. It's two inches on a standard non-Sasquatch Bronco. So in our case, with it being Sasquatch and having the setup that we have with these spring rates, we are sitting closer to about three quarters of an inch to about an inch of lift all the way around which is still plenty good for our purposes because obviously the truck just sat higher naturally. So that's why those numbers are different, but it gave us the room to squeeze a little bigger tire and get a different setup on here. So we're running a 37 inch BFG KO2 on this truck. And then we've also got Fuel's Rebel wheel. Those are a 17 by nine with a one millimeter offset on them. So nothing super aggressive. It's Definitely a step up from the 35s, and I really like the look of 37s with the 17 inch wheel. I think it's a great fit for this truck. It's very proportional, but still a little more aggressive and has a bit more presence to it. And then the beautiful thing is, because of the way the Bronco's designed and with a lot of these Sasquatch Broncos, they don't install crash bars or anything and they leave the wheel wells fairly open from factory. So I was able to put those on without having to cut or trim to get everything to tuck in. And we don't have any rub or issues with the tires catching on this build. Now, the other important thing to note is I mentioned the spring rates a little bit earlier, and the reason we opted for the heavy rate in the front and medium in the back is because this truck has a full worn steel bumper up front with a 10,000 pound winch, and then we have some lighting added on as well from Rigid, and in the back, we've got a full size 37 inch spare with the Grim off-road tire carrier bracket to reinforce everything. So there's a bit more weight on this truck, especially up front than what you'd have from factory. So having that heavy loaded spring just kind of acts to basically keep us at the proper ride height so we still get that three quarters of an inch of lift or so that we need up front but it also manages the weight of that bumper without things settling or bouncing around especially because with a bumper and a winch setup you've got that weight kind of hanging out over where the front axles are and it can get a bit more leverage and start to really dance the front end around if you don't have a suspension that's designed to manage it. That was why we selected the stuff we selected, but for a little bit of perspective, if your truck is basically bone stock in terms of bumpers and roof racks and all that, you don't have anything added on, then the light rated spring kit is gonna work great for you. If you have a little bit of aftermarket stuff kind of bolted onto the truck, say a roof rack and maybe a more tame front bumper without a winch, then the medium load rating is gonna be great. And then if you have a more built vehicle with a heavy duty bumper like what we have on this one, or you know a fully loaded roof rack with a tent and some serious overlanding gear, then the heavy load rated springs are gonna be a lot better for that kind of setup. That gives you a little more idea of what to select. And that's why we chose the rates that we chose. Overall, I think it's the perfect setup. I really love the stance of the truck. Truck. It sits pretty nice and level. There's maybe just a touch of rake with the nose down, but I think that's great to have, especially when you have people in the back or you've loaded up the rear with camping gear, because then it keeps the truck from nosing up. So I'm really thrilled with how that all dialed in. 
And the other thing I'll say about this is, as much as I really like the setup of the truck, I think all of these details also kind of tie into probably my biggest gripe or the biggest drawback that I found with Old Man Emu's suspension, and that's that there's almost too many options. I spent hours trying to dial this in, and I will say shout out to ARB for answering all the questions because I just hammered them with emails about everything, trying to figure out what was going to be the best fit and how everything was supposed to work to get the ideal setup on this truck. And they were very attentive. They responded to everything that I asked and gave me a lot of great information. But the fact that I had to go through that is a little bit of a pain because for most of you guys, when you're sitting at home trying to figure out a setup for your truck, you don't have hours to just dial in every little detail and figure out what every little piece is supposed to do. So so I think ARB does a good job of providing options. They just don't do a great job of explaining what all of those options are for. That's really one of my biggest drawbacks. But with that aside, I think I've spoken enough on the stance and the overall look of the truck. So it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of how this thing actually drives and how the suspension performs off-road. I want to focus in on what this suspension does best, which is essentially just good old fashioned trail driving where you're tackling rocky terrain or washboard roads or sandy washes for hours and hours on the end, you know, just miles of trail time where you're basically at 40 miles an hour and below. And really that's kind of old man Emu's wheelhouse is managing these long term touring trips with a suspension that's durable and capable and consistent. They don't do a lot of like high speed Baja pre-running type suspensions. Everything is a little more overland focused, so to speak, but that really is where this kit shines. And I was super pleased with how well it performed in the Bronco because this truck is a pretty good platform for just that kind of driving. I've put thousands of miles on this vehicle now, sitting in the driver's seat, running all around Phoenix here in the desert, hitting both trails in the East and West Valley. But we also did a trip up to Colorado where we visited Uray and Telluride and hit some of the passes up there like Imogene and did a few other little offshoot roads and different trails to places like Alta Lakes just to kind of get a well-rounded experience for what this vehicle was capable of. And honestly, with this suspension, there wasn't a single thing we ran into that we couldn't cover. I have yet to really encounter any obstacles that this truck struggles on because this kit manages the build that we did so well. And what I mean by that is essentially the little bit of lift we have is helpful from the suspension, but really the big benefit is that you can fit a larger tire. So with us being able to tuck 37s and then this kit allowing them to fully articulate and to still drive nicely with the vehicle and keep them planted when we need them to be planted, it basically provides a really smooth, comfortable off-road experience where you can still modulate your braking and you know apply throttle evenly and consistently without tires slipping. It really doesn't bring the tires off the ground very often at all because they're such good travel. And then with a bigger tire, you have a better contact patch in general, so traction is improved. All of those things are fairly true across the board for any sort of lift you're going to run that's in this regard. You know, you can fit a larger tire and that's going to provide benefits. But what I like about this system is that it's so consistently good and that the ride quality and the way it performs is so consistent. So even after hours and hours spent on the trail, we didn't have any issues with this fading and, you know, starting to lose damping and feeling like it got sloppier over time. It consistently felt the same and allowed you to drive predictably and comfortably. And it also did a great job of managing all the additional weight that we've added to the truck, like I mentioned earlier. So with a heavy bumper on there and full size spare, there's, you know, a decent amount of weight moving around when you start bouncing off road that can kind of shake the truck up and unsettle the suspension if you don't have a kit that's built for it. And this system had zero issues. It felt almost like it did with the stock Badlands Bilstein suspension on it. And that may sound like, well, that's not an upgrade if it's just the same as the suspension you had on it. But the impressive part is that it was that comfortable and performed that controlled with all of the additional weight that we put on. I think that kind of speaks volumes about why this kit works as well as it does and what makes it stand out. If you are the type of person that's doing a Bronco build where you plan to spend a lot of time on the trails and you want to get out to your favorite camping spots or, you know, run some technical rocky terrain with your buddies or, you know, you're looking just to explore, get out in the back country, this is a kit that won't let you down. Moving things along, I do want to talk a bit about high speed off-road with this truck, or I guess relative high speed. And I know that earlier in the review, I explained that Old Man Emu doesn't really build their kits to be sort of the Raptor, Baja pre-runner types of setups. 
but that doesn't mean that the system is incapable of allowing you to have fun or get the truck up to speed. So from my experience, when you kind of cross over from that 40 mile an hour threshold to 50, 55 miles an hour off-road and you know, you're kind of hammering up some washes and spending time in the sand, it does actually still keep the truck pretty planted. It doesn't feel like this thing gets wildly out of control or like the valving can't keep up, but you know, I wouldn't probably go bombing over whoops at 60 miles an hour through Johnson Valley. It's just not really what the kit's designed to do. So if you do decide you wanna throw the truck in two wheel drive and slide around in the sand or splash through mud, I think that this kit will still allow you to do that, no problem. I had no issues playing around and having fun with it personally. It's just one of those things that you have to consider because if you're the type of person that wants to do high speed off-roading and you want to basically mimic like a Bronco Raptor build, then this probably isn't gonna be the right suspension for you. You're gonna be looking at stuff that is more like a full coilover system that has you know larger shock bodies, probably 2.5s or 3.0s with external resis on them where you can kind of adjust some of the valving and really get it dialed in to do long-term runs off-road where you're at those higher speeds. That's a whole nother beast in itself, but this is one of those systems that isn't built for that but you can still have a lot of fun with so i kind of wanted to clarify just so people didn't think that they were speed restricted by the suspension with this you can see from the footage that we're showing you basically what this is really capable of one of the final things i want to touch on in this old man emu review isn't really pertaining to the off-road performance but more so the on-road performance and how this thing feels when you're daily driving it and spending a lot of time on the street because the reality is as much as a lot of us like to build these trucks to be off-road capable, it's also still typically your daily driver getting you back and forth to work or picking up the kids from school or getting groceries and all that good stuff. So you want something that still feels safe and comfortable on the road. Now, thankfully, this Old Man Emu kit does a really good job of finding that balance between the off-road capability and the on-road ride quality. And really from what I can tell, just from being in the saddle for as many hours as I have been, the ride is actually pretty comparable to stock. I think it's really comfortable Comfortable, especially given that it is a lift kit and lift kits tend to make vehicles more stiff but it really feels pretty comparable now uh, if you are somebody who has a very base model bare bones bronco with stock shocks on it and you know the stock wheel and tire combo this probably will feel a little firmer and maybe a little more aggressive to you if that's what you've been used to but for those of you who have maybe spent some time in bigger lifted vehicles i think you'll be really happily surprised by just how nice this kit is when you're putting in highway miles for me i had no problems you know hammering around at you know 65 75 whatever on the freeway i didn't have any issues doing daily driving around town it still does a really great job of managing that weight and kind of like i mentioned before in the off-road section being able to handle the additional weight in the mods and the larger tires that we've added is great off-road but it also can be a benefit on the street because it does make the truck feel a bit safer and a bit more planted since that weight isn't pulling it around if you're maybe going through some tighter corners or a chicane of some kind, depending on you know driving up mountain passes or whatever it may be. To wrap things up and kind of summarize what I've been talking about through the whole review now as we're winding down, basically, if you're somebody who's got a very base model bare bones Bronco that's non-Sasquatch, I think a suspension like this Old Man Emu kit is gonna do wonders for you. This kit, will probably feel like a huge upgrade, both in terms of just the way it makes the truck look and the overall stance, but also in terms of the off-road capability it provides, especially because the non-Sasquatch Broncos are kind of lacking in that regard. I felt like the factory shocks are pretty weak. Should be a huge upgrade for you if you're somebody with that kind of build. But if you're also somebody who has a more decked out, you know, higher trim level Bronco, like the Badlands that we built here, it can even elevate the off-road performance from an already pretty good truck from factory. And as you saw, this truck does a really good job of getting around just about anywhere. And even though it was capable with all the equipment we had optioned in from Ford, it was nice to really be able to run 37s and set up a full winch bumper without having all the drawbacks that come with trying to put those mods on stock suspension. So overall, I think it's gonna be a pretty good kit for most folks off-road trail builds. And while if you're somebody who's got a Wrangler that's sitting on one tons and forties, I get why this might not impress you. But for most folks, the kind of driving they're gonna to wanna to do and the kinds of trails you're gonna to wanna to hit will easily be covered with a system like this. In terms of drawbacks or some of the cons with the kit, the, really the biggest one is what I touched on at the very beginning of the review, which is that Old Man Emu slash ARB doesn't do a great job of explaining what all of the options are and they kind of overwhelm you with information and different pieces and all the 
little technicalities that you need to work out to get the suspension to basically look and fit exactly the way you want. So I really didn't think that was super user friendly. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you're somebody that's installing the suspension at home and you don't have a lift or you know serious tools, then it's gonna be a little more difficult than some of the other kits on the market just because it does require you to swap the top hat from your factory struts to the new equipment. And in that case, you're also compressing and moving springs that are pretty heavy duty. And really the springs are not something you're gonna be able to tackle at home unless you have a wall mounted or floor mounted spring compressor. So it can be a pretty serious install. And with a lot of the other little pieces that are added in, it's a little more time consuming as well. That's kind of up to you if you see that as a drawback or not. It really depends on how committed you are to doing an install of a suspension like this at home versus having a shop do it professionally. But regardless, the suspension in terms of how it performs is still excellent. And I think that no matter how you get it on there, you're going to be very pleased with the way that it makes your Bronco ride and the kind of capability that you'll gain from it. So folks, I think that's going to be a wrap on this Old Man Emu review. And I appreciate it if you guys stuck it all the way out to the end. I can already tell this is going to be a long one from just how much time I've been sitting here talking. But... It hopefully provides some good information and a little bit more insight. So if you are interested in buying one of these kits, you know what you're getting into beforehand and what to expect from it. As always, I will have links down in the description below to some of these systems on our website if you want to take a look or you want to purchase one for yourself. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, definitely check out our build series on this truck as well because there's a lot of great info in there that will give you a better idea of what it takes to install this kit. So anyways, that's all I'll tack on at the end. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.